Hey gents and welcome to another episode of Marvel Future Revolution. Today I want to jump in and show you how I'm going about leveling up alt characters and a good point of it. A, first of all, you have your main character and that's probably where you should invest the majority of your time. But what you want to be taking a note, special advantage of is the fact that, hey, there's a couple of things that I can do in here to help my other characters get ahead. And even though these cards have exclusive stats on them, I can unequip these cards legitimately inside here, unequip those cards, and I can store those cards for my other characters to use. So like, I know I'm gonna invest time in playing and leveling up another character. Easy to come inside here. Your card storage is completely separate from your other card storage. So I can drop these cards in here. So I'm gonna drop all my five stars right up in this puppy. Wow, so I'm gonna store those cards. Now my character gets to use those cards, my, my new character that I'm gonna get to do, right? The other thing that I wanna make sure that I have is inside my squad storage, right? And this is why I said to you guys, make sure that you level up your storage. So if you go to squad and then you go to storage, you wanna max this out because you're gonna constantly be battling, uh, leveling up you know, certain items inside here. And this is not one, one of the things that you wanna constantly be battling with this storage, especially if you you know leveling up multiple characters and stuff like that. So inside here, I've told you guys, save all of your five star, save all of your uh, five star and six star battle badges that you get. I, would, I wouldn't really get rid of any of them. Um, like you, you'll, you'll end up with some of these that you can tell like yeah i don't want to have them and they're not going to really necessarily boost anything for you so you can start deleting some of them as you get enough that you can you can find a way and i'll that that they kind of work with other characters as well or that all your characters you can tell they're automatically going to auto equip those so i've got enough battle badges so now what i'm going to do inside here is i want to go ahead and say i want to play with something else now right so i'm going to go in here i'm going to go to hero select just so that you guys can see, I basically have Doctor Strange level 100 and I have uh, Captain America level 100. I'm going to tell you 100%, I think those are two of my most favorite characters in the game that I've, I've touched yet. I didn't really care for Iron Man. I still find him hard to care for. And Spider-Man's fun, but overall, I'm going to say that, you know, Spider-Man's been, he, he's, he's fun, but... It's just not it's just not me and then storm storm was a blast i would say if you play dr strange though you're, you're basically choosing between dr strange and storm so the last characters i haven't really touched yet so to speak is star lord captain marvel and black widow black widows i, I almost have them in order i thought i was going to jump into star lord right away but i think i gotta go with my girl captain uh marvel simply because you know, like, I don't know. She's just caked up, man. <laughs> my, girl, my girl's caked up. And I think that she's going to have the most usefulness in terms of me actually turning into player. Now, <clears throat> here goes something that I, I realized as I was leveling up multiple characters that I kind of wonder why they did this and, and the way that they did it. Um, I, I guess in some respect, it's kind of cool. But in some respects, you got to wonder. So there we go. Captain Marvel, little quick time event. I actually like this Captain Marvel. I don't, I'm not, not gonna lie to you guys. I don't care Captain shit Marvel. for Brie Larson's yeah, character at all. Cool. Like, fuck that chick. I'm not a fan of her portrayal of Captain Marvel at all. But I actually enjoy this Captain Marvel um, in this game and the voice actress. I don't know who it is, but um, something that I realize is that your squad rank, meaning you know what you've invested in your character's squad rank, is completely different than your character's rank. Your squad ranks will generate a power level across the board for your characters. So a level, my level 100 squad rank will affect multiple of my characters on my roster completely different than they would affect any, you know, somebody else's. So for instance, if I go inside my character and I look at her hero rank, I already start with innately a 59,000 power level. That's pretty damn good. Now I don't have any battle badges. I don't even have any costumes equipped, right? I'm just literally rolling through, playing a story. You can see these drop and I'm leveling up my character and side here that's just that's the way the game plays right realistically there's not much for you to do and those battle badges that you're equipping they're not really going to do anything now notice i did say that i'm going to go inside here i'm going to wall uh, so they won't let me use this while i'm playing through this okay 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 you won't let me use it so now it wouldn't make a difference anyways because i can't equip any of my omega cards to my character currently anyways right so i'm inside the mission i have to finish this mission up and do it 
Now, every character has their own initial mission. I think this is going to be one of the points like uh, Kraken Noel brought it up in one of his videos. We don't have full voice acting throughout the game. I think that would have been cool to have full voice acting for some of this stuff, but we don't. We don't. There's going to be pieces where it's voice acted, and there's going to be pieces where it's not. You know, that's that's just the way it is. Captain Marvel can fly. So it looks pretty cool, and she definitely has her dash mechanic. She kind of looks like Superman when she does it. Trust me, I'm not even bothering to go in there and equip these because they're not having any effect. So like I said, you see that you start out with a certain number of skills here, right? Oh, spoiler alert in case you're worried about the story. Please uh, notice that, right? You start out with a specific number of skills. Those skills basically, you'll unlock a certain amount of skills. And then as you pr progress, once you hit pretty much level 77 with your characters, that's when you've essentially unlocked all of your skills. So like if I go here, go to my hero, check out the skill inventory, you can see I basically have Mighty mighty Flight, which is gathers energy to cause an extra, uh, 206 damage. And then that has three other skills to be unlocked. I also have Photon Charge. You can see the guard break on it is high. This is the, the kind of thing that you wanna pay attention to is the cooldown and the guard break, right? And then we can see here is a guard break medium and a nice cooldown. So everything right now has pretty decent cooldowns and guard breaks. Remember that. You want to be paying attention to the cooldown and the guard break. Since we're in here, we'll just equip these inside there. Like I said, they're not going to increase. You see that? It's 263. At... At my squad rank right now, my characters are probably good enough where they could get through the opening chapter of New Stark City without much of a problem. At all. Like, you can see I, on my right hand side right here, I have 50 of these health things. I kid you not. Captain America will never use, almost damn near never. If you are leveling Captain America actively and you're just playing a story, I can almost guarantee you Captain America will never use those goddamn healing pots. He's the only character in the game that has an innate, an innate self heal. Um, his, his HP recovery is bomb ass, man. Um, I don't know. I don't know another way to say it, but he has a serious HP recovery. His mechanic is basically he works off of defensive stat, where his defensive stat will increase his HP recovery pool, and he is amazing. If you're looking at a beginner player where you want to know the mechanics and stuff like that, and what's possibly coming from characters, check out Doctor, uh, not Doctor Strange. Check out Captain America and his play, and you'll see that he's pretty damn. He, he's pretty good. So let's kind of zoom on this. I have no clue why the game changes to this two rating. I really would prefer if it just stayed on the one camera mode. I can't believe I got guard broken by this motherfucker. And I had to use a freaking witcher call. Yeah. So something to be said about Captain America 2, by the way. So that way you guys understand some, why this is happening. Like if I did this with Storm or even did it with uh, Spider-Man, you just see me never using anything. Captain Marvel has a weird progression. Like her beginning skills aren't really that great at all. And then when she gets to her latter skills, like her four, five, and six, and the other skills that unlock as you uh, invest it in the character, she becomes uber powerful. Oh, you like, really yeah. That. So I'm sorry, it's a spoiler right here. You get a little bit of spoiler. Mm -hmm. hmm. Sexy ass scientist supreme, looking like, looking like they just said, hey, Hey, yes. we're going to rip this motherfucker, Sandra Bullock, right off the pages of Maxim Whatever Vogue magazine playing, and put her in I here as Scientist Supreme. I, at least to me, she looks like freaking, uh, <laughs> she looks to me like, um, <laughs> she does. She looks so much like uh, Sandra Bullock to me. So there you go. I didn't activate that game activated on its own. It was one of those timed event things that I wanted to do. You'll notice up here to the left, right next to Science's Supreme Name, there is a gauge. And that gauge is basically her guard. And once it gets down to zero, you basically have guard broken that character, which opens them up for some serious critical damage and crit rates and so forth. Really shitty part about this is they freaking decide they're gonna put the freaking power gauge right there in the middle of the action in the middle of the screen like especially for flying characters this is weird you fuck scientist supreme up you don't know 
what you're doing. I know that whatever comes through this portal next might not be nearly as nice as me. Got that right. That's why I'm shutting it down. This is a cool ass costume too, I I think for uh Captain Captain Marvel. It's I mean clearly we've seen this costume. You got the before. right idea, Captain. But it's the wrong time. What? That technology could still prove useful. And so could power like yours. We've got bigger problems than aim at the moment. And we could use soldiers like you. I really like the facial models and the character models for uh, even the hairstyle for um, that for this Captain Marvel. I, I, I like it a lot. I think the design team did a great job on her, and she actually has some pretty sick ass looking costumes as well. Have entered the same dimension and are in danger danger of colliding. Oh shit! My emulator right now. Catastrophic situation, but we can't rest easy. Don't worry, we won't be alone. We've been busy recruiting from every world. We're Omega Flight. And now you are one of us. So everybody gets introduced to the same Omega Flight hub. But that is just what it is. So we collect these right here, um, and then we get to talk to these people, right? Like, so they're gonna basically run us around this whole area. I'm not gonna bug you with that. We're just gonna skip through it. We'll go over here. We'll talk to Hank Pym. We'll come over here and order put some some crushing thrash, uh, and then Best skip luck, him, sir. and we'll go inside my Omega cards. I think I can. Damn it! I think I finally found a problem that I can't did you, solve with science Did you, alone. motherfucker? <laughs> Earths from different dimensions have merged into one. Convergence. And even though we've slowed it down for now, it's not over. So this is dope, right? We can stop the I got, process. I, I, you know, Marvel Future it's Fight, like Marvel's, uh, Marvel Future Revolution has something inside of it where they've basically come up with a story where they can inject villains and good guys and they could have various variations of those characters because of the storyline and it kind of works out it's pretty good inside here it's convergence um you know we're basically in multi-earth which kind of works out you know it's kind of the multiverse um Hope that helps. nothing wrong with that now let's see if it can do this without having my characters talk so i'm gonna auto equip some cards oh i didn't get them from the card storage my bad Damn it, it's just like rolls so quickly. Talk to my New man Stark Tony Stark City. at New Stark City, which I can my hear two shits creation. about. His ultimate creation. Sure, Ultron. I had a little help. Uh, yeah, this is the part where you it. get pissed off that because it's like, he didn't create Ultron. <laughs> did he have a little help? How about Hank Pym did that shit? Still, even I can't save the world alone. Yeah, shut up. I don't want to spoil too much of the story for you guys, and I've already seen the story, so it's not that big of a Let's deal with me. Um, squad, card storage. Let's collect these cards. God damn it, Nick Fury. So you could also see they they went with the Nick Fury, uh, Samuel Jackson looking at Nick Fury. Um, debate that shit amongst yourselves in the comics, which ones you like, whether you like white Nick Fury or black Nick Fury, I don't really give a damn. I think both are pretty cool. I think David Hasselhoff did the Nick Fury before, and Samuel L. Jackson actually did Nick Fury as well. And I think that was from the Marvel Ultimates, uh, the Marvel Ultimate Universe, which you know got folded on itself. <laughs> but that's the Ultimate Universe is also where we got um, Miles Morales Spider-Man from. Boom! She was like, "Yo, bro." All right, before we continue over the story, I want to. <laughs> I kind of want to show you this, so I'm, try I'm trying to do this. All right, card storage. So inside the card storage, we're allowed to t take all the cards that we just previously equipped in there. All right, so you can see, like, I have all those five stars cards. I'm going to retrieve them, and literally from here, I can now go to my character's Omega cards, and inside here, I can auto-equip them. Simple as that, all right? Now, is it going to look like a significant boost and increase right now? 
not necessarily remember we are already at like 60,000 omega cards do have the ability to fetch you but you're missing out on some of these core stats here like this you know the, especially these exclusive stats across the cards like those things are specific to those characters so it's something that we need like for instance i do need a pve set for these cards right I, it's just something that i do um so what are we looking at now so i got my omega cards skills when you're leveling up the character i realistically wouldn't touch the skills at all unless it's a character that you actually want to play it play with uh don't touch the skills leave them alone don't level them up gold it's gold is hard to come by inside the game so don't touch them leave them up your squad info inside here like you can see i'm getting this boost right here across the board for my characters along with this don't touch them no reason to touch them at all um next thing that i want to do is i'm going to show you inside here right so we go back inside our squad uh, our squad information and we're going to go to storage right and one of the things that you're going to want to click on right here is you're going to need these level 20s right so typically what i'll do is i'll grab all of the level 20s that i have um even if they're matched up right there because i don't know which ones the game's going to want to auto equip you don't want to grab too many though it kind of gets a little fucking wonky but that's the first time you can equip battle badges at level 20 so take that into consideration so you do have to at some point play with okay these are the battle badges that are good and these are the ones that are going to be transferable amongst the characters that my character most likely will read or need right so i'm going to retrieve all of those in anticipation of getting to level 20 my inventory not still not looking so bad even with the 29 of those inside of them right and then just the wish call so now i get to just run around play the game as i want to collect these rewards the first thing that you're going to be looking at doing inside the game is there's a sense of debate right now whether you should or you shouldn't play through the side missions the side missions are basically these green missions that pop up on the screen right um do you want to do those uh you're gonna save yourself maybe 30 minutes to two hours of time of gameplay um depending on how you look at it mm, i'm gonna pick up this director suit they're gonna give you this option right here you pick up whichever one you want to it ain't like one of the items that you absolutely must have and need like if you go inside your inventory over here and you look at the costume sets what did the particle lab head <laughs> like it's not one of the items that you specifically need all the items that you will need 100 in terms of like your character um they'll appear inside the um inside your inventory you space let's see it'll appear inside your inventory space and i'll have like a, a a glow around them and most likely it'll be locked as well if i can remember correctly i think it locks all of those you get the headpiece for all of the areas i believe it is i think you get the headpiece for all of the areas um automatically so pay attention to that because you don't want to freaking do anything to shut it down i'm trying to skip through some of this game stuff so that way you don't get to see this stuff i don't want you to uh play through this and then be like oh i didn't get to see this shit uh is the story like you know great it's a comic book story be happy with the goddamn story that they got it's a chance for you to just use the powers and abilities but you can see like i'm making my way through right now and i'm basically unlocking these so i'm gonna play this through and just let it run uh on autoplay it's fine to do what it's gonna do um you know especially for these missions so it's kind of good in that that you know i can just leave this sit here on my phone play it through and not really have too much of an issue if that's what i want to do um the autoplay is gonna create i think they really need to remove the autoplay from certain modes like raid um omega war um dark zone uh like any of those in game level modes that you literally need to teamwork on i really feel like they need to remove those from there um yeah i just do i really do so right now we're probably roughly at probably about like 15 minutes worth of gameplay time um that we're looking at this we want to get to level 10 and i'll show you why so that's about the only time where you're actually required to actually click on anything and do anything so the the debate is whether or not you should be doing the side missions i can tell you truthfully 
at the lower level um you don't really need to do this the, the side missions the green missions and you can just focus on doing the story missions the purple uh the purple ones if you see any gold ones pop up you know uh gold event missions you do want to complete those um yeah just just complete those as well because those are good to do uh as you can see it is typical mmo fanfare where it's just you know run fetch me or kill x amount return to me right here so like the next mission i got is just so you can see this is a gold mission down here someone please help me and it's literally just going to be a little hero saving mission and it wants me to kill more people so c complete those missions as well because they do have some significant xp the things that you miss out on by completing the side missions a lot of those side missions have uh decent gold rewards and um they do have decent gold rewards and they do have uh other rewards as well that you probably going to want like um and when i say that i mean like you know uh classified data things to level up your squad rank or you know potential reports and things like that that you 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 probably want inside there so let's see like you can see that wasn't a significant amount of what you call it that it gave me but there you go captain marvel looking saucy she's looking saucy and you can come over here and you can see the various themes that she has so like this is her modern suit um i kind of like her uh new stark city suit she's got her xandurf inside here um let's take a look at her body inside here i like the xandurf her new stark city looks pretty cool you can see her midgardia uniform which is i think that one was my favorite one um her sakar uniform is pretty cool the ms marvel uniform iconic as hell right and you even have like this air force pilot one you got the secret wars inside here um what else you got the shield director uniform um the, obviously we've got the marvel studios captain marvel uh classic there's quite a few costumes inside here the savage shadowland one is one i've seen a lot of people running around she's definitely got a hero's bevy of suits inside there for you to choose from now <clears throat> as you're leveling up through the game it's pretty fairly simple you know just click and paste so i'm gonna go complete this mission again you're just kind of playing through your menu on here auto equipping shit as it comes and there we go now it might take me a little while so i'm gonna probably cut from right here and i'm gonna let the game play through because at level 10 there is something i want to show you and make a point to it so all right guys so jumping back in here um i want you guys to be able to see we're going to kind of skip stop this mission from happening right here once you hit level 10 inside the game for every character across the board you're going to get this offer where it's basically 245 crystals and level three uh their modern suits each of these modern suits come with their own benefits so for instance and they kind of automatically tell you what the character is probably geared at you know captain marvel being attack and critical rate so you want to be kind of leveling those things up because she's going to just be really good at critical rate especially if you looked at where her superpower got nerfed from so basically all these rewards are going to be offered for about 399 american or whatever the hell it is wherever you are in the world I'll do some some hasty editing the reason why i'm purchasing that uniform i'm going to give you a specific example of why i'm purchasing that so also notice that I went in here, I hit the hero level up event. I'm going to get the squad rank XP and I'm going to hit the title Carol Core, right? Um, which is going to also give me a squad rank, which is going to, you know, really boost me up. So now I want to go inside here. I want you to see before, let's claim this real quick. Come on, my items, claim this bitch. So I'm going to get those 245 and I'm going to get her three star costume. So let's get ahead. So right now you notice that her power level is about 91,000. And I want you to see the difference what happens when I auto equip all these items. Jumps up about 20,000 points for those three star costumes, right? That's pretty decent. And her modern uniform looks pretty good. And when I get to level 20 and I'm able to equip some actually good badges, you're going to see some significant jumps in terms of power levels and things like that. Um, I'm not a fan of the black hair. I'll go with the blonde hair instead. Change the look, right? All right. So 
the reason why I tell you to purchase that three-star costume, right? Unless you're balling and you go inside your cart over here, right? And you look at the items that's available. You're basically going to have two available purchases inside here. You can purchase her Marvel uniform, which is a four-star uh, four star costume. No crystals, uh, some Convergium, and some Alliance loyalty. Um, they've added in this preview button. That's her Marvel Avengers Endgame uniform. That doesn't even look like her. Okay. But um, then you're going to basically get the four-star costume as well. All right. So the four-star costume, it's the iconic look for her. Um, you know, modified, obviously, slightly a little bit. Looks pretty damn decent. Looks good. Miss Marvel suit. I actually like it. That one's going to come with no crystals as well. Some conversion, some uh, alliance loyalty. So now let's do a little quick quick search over here on what the charge rate for those is. So if I wanted her costume, pretty much, that 2,000 crystal costume, I would essentially have to pay about $30 in order to get that four-star costume because I'd basically have to purchase this $26.99 pack right here, and I'd probably have to purchase this $3.99 pack over here. Um, that's completely up to you if you want to do that. I wouldn't do that unless it was a character that was you know you're invested in i'm not going to be invested in captain marvel i know i'm not going to be invested in captain marvel and the good thing about me not being invested in captain marvel is there's a couple of things i want you guys to pay attention to when you are trying to boost up your overall squad from as far as i can tell you know the titles that you collect for your characters inside here those have an effect on your your squad right the squad info tab your actual squad level up here which you have to use these books those affect your squad your rank in terms of attack defense and hp those affect your squad your weapon development armor design and bionics and the levels in here these affect your squads your character's individual aspects meaning their skills right these individual things their skills their specializations and even their enhanced potential and their individual cores and stuff like that they have absolutely no effect on you and your team whatsoever so in this regard you can level up a character to level 100 in order to generate the squad experience so that way you can accelerate the rate at which your squad rank grows but you don't have to deep dive invest into a character meaning you know i don't want to play as star lord i don't want to play as captain marvel i don't want to play as spider-man i don't want to play as iron man i don't want to play as these characters i don't have to invest in them any more than what it's going to take me to get ahead in the story what i mean by that is like if i go inside the hero level up event right for every character this happens and i'm getting this squad rank regardless i'm also going to get these potentials and stuff like that for which is going to increase her enhancement potential and stuff i'm going to get these out these squad power power upgrade books those are all going to be intrinsic to that character even i'm going to get a four star costume box for for that character all of those things are going to be intrinsic to that character i don't have to use these things on these characters though right like the squad rank is generated specifically to my squad you're going to want to level up all your characters to 100 just so that way you can get ahead but i don't have to keep going with that once i got the characters to level 100 and i've milked out all the squad xp that i can get from them then i can slow grind some of the things like if i went to for instance so collection i got her uniform and i got some of these right now i can slow grind playing those characters i can come into challenges and i can look at the upgrades and i get some of these boxes right so i can slow grind some of those the same thing with you know leveling these up right here where i can say now i can go fight loki three or four times right i can fight aries three or four times and i can max out these little bits of challenges and so forth so that way i can kind of level that character but i can do it slowly because it's not affecting my overall gameplay for that character i wanted to show you guys that so that way you guys get a synopsis wow i got a two star inside that's nice um so that way you can kind of see what to expect from each character play i would say the best thing for you to do is level the characters up in tandem across the board meaning you know get your main characters to level 100 or even just to level 50 bring up another character to like level 20 30 or something like that and keep exchanging those battle badges and the comic book cards because that's going to basically be how it's going to play for you and then use your main character to carry on about the uh the main you know th focal points for the day your operations and so forth like that but in the first week of the game you want to race a character to level 100 as quick as 
as possible so you can unlock these things and you're not behind the bar in terms of like getting access to dark zone getting access to dimension duel and all these other things trust me it's gonna be something that you want to do i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm gonna have to edit this one down so remember like and subscribe and until next time guys peace Thank you.